What up guys, Homeless Investor here, 4th of July. Um, just, just a quick article I read this morning I wanted to talk about because it was actually something I was already thinking about yesterday, um, a part of the article at least. So it's, it was a Goldman Sachs um, price prediction of Bitcoin to go to um, 4,000 in 2017. Um, so I'm just going to read you guys kind of the bulletin points of that. Um, and then there's the part that I, I had actually was already thinking about yesterday. And that part is, so they said in the article, it's hard to do technical analysis on Bitcoin because of the wide range of variables that can affect it in short periods of time. And I was already thinking about this yesterday because a lot of people do technical analysis on the Bitcoin charts and cryptocurrency in general. But it's kind of hard to put those same charts that you put on um, other markets such as stocks or uh, anything really because because bitcoin is still a free market you know what i mean if the price isn't suppressed um it's not regulated so i i don't know it's just kind of you can't really put price prediction charts on something that is that is not being manipulated and regulated like all those other markets and with and with such things that can affect it so greatly you know what i mean because it's such a new market still and it's just it's just basically it's still a free market basically so i I don't know. I don't really listen or pay attention to the the charts and the price price analysis predictions that people use for it. Um, maybe I'm done for dumb dumb for that, but that's just my opinion. Now the rest of the article goes on to say um, some of the factors that may pu push Bitcoin higher are South Korea may legalize Bitcoin this year, so the whole country. So I mean that's that's pretty cool. Um, Japan has eliminated consumption tax on Bitcoin. And China is going to fully legalize Bitcoin and Ethereum soon as well. Um, so Bitcoin's kind of in that sweet spot regarding global adoption, development, and growth of user base right now. So if you haven't bought in, which I feel like everybody has by now, but if you haven't, <laughs> now might be a good time to, to, to come in. Um, an increasing number of users have begun to adopt Bitcoin as a digital currency, and merchants have started to acknowledge Bitcoin as a legitimate payment method. And in Japan, Bitcoin has turned into a major currency adopted by the country's largest electronic retailer, BitCamera, and the multi-billion dollar conglomerate, GMO Group. So yeah, I mean, so just, just some cool stuff going on with uh, Bitcoin in terms of, uh, you know, countries in Asia. Um, of course, they would be the ones to actually uh, start to adopt Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and actually use them. Um, and accept the blockchain technology and trying to restrict it and and tax and tax people for using it like they do in America um, Just my opinion, but uh, yeah, so that's just some thoughts for today guys. Talk to you later